Hello and welcome to LSJ News. I'm Grace Thompson with your latest stories in Lincoln. Organisers of Lincoln's first inclusive dance festival say more needs to be offered to dancers with disabilities in the area. Arts NK, founded at the Unified Dance Festival this November and performers with physical and learning disabilities, were invited to take part in workshops and perform on stage at Lincoln's Drill Hall. Coordinator Emma Bouch said the festival needed to happen because disab disabled dancers in Lincolnshire have no other chance to practice performing on stage. Lincolnshire Police have recently relocated to their premises on South Park alongside the fire ambulance service in the city. Two weeks ago we had a look inside the old station so it was time to see the new renovation now that all the members of staff have moved in. Here's Andrew Norris with more. Following on from our report two weeks ago from report Akira Best about the closing of the old police station on West Parade, I'm here at the new build on South Park to talk to Pat Coates about what's new in the building. Um, well, there's a number of things. One, it's, it's brand new, so everything's modern um, and new in it. Um, the other station was built in 1970, well, started being built in 1973 and was moved into in 1976. So a lot of the um, building was very old and tired, uh, the facilities. So what it's enabled us to do here, for instance, are scenes of crime officers have, can get national accreditation to be able to examine um, exhibits, which is something they wouldn't have been able to achieve um, back at West Parade. Our custody suite meets now home office specification. The one at West Parade was getting tired and wouldn't meet, if it was built as a new custody suite, it wouldn't meet new modern standards. And then the biggest benefit really, the overall benefit of sharing a site with two other emergency services is that collaborative working. So West Parade we're on our own, here we're working with FIRE and EMAS, we build relationships. So if we attend an incident or a major incident, we've already got that sort of um, understanding of each and other service, how they operate, just knowing people when you turn up at a scene of an incident can often help in the way that you deal with it. So that the biggest benefit of moving here is sharing that space with the other services. Um, and that's ultimately what the aim of this was. Yes, we get a nice building, nice environment for staff. Um, we reduce some of our costs in terms of maintenance because we're sharing a site. Maintaining three buildings has got to be more expensive than maintaining one. But ultimately, the real reason why the chief officers decided to do this five years ago was that collaborative working and that benefit that will give to the public in terms of how we respond together to any emergency that they may call. So now we've had a chance to look around the inside of the new police station, it's clear that the officers here think that it's a significant improvement from the old building. Andrew Norris, LSD News, Lincoln. As part of our coverage on the general election on December 12th, we are chatting with the candidates in the local area. Today we spoke with the Labour candidate, Karen Lee, who spoke to us about their party policies in Lincoln. I'm a very hard working MP and I stand on my record, but for me, I'm the one that is saying this election is about so much more than Brexit. It's actually about the social issues and it's about climate change. It's about Brexit too, but we have to look at it in the round and the way that we address the things that are wrong in our society at the moment involves tackling climate change at the same time. I can't stress how important that I think that is. I have children and grandchildren and for me, I want to hand down to them something that, that's, you know, safe. And at the minute, our planet is in just such big trouble. And I feel like I'm one of the... Our, pla our party is the only one that's actually got a plan that's going to work. In Lincoln, I'm the only candidate that could win this election that is serious about tackling climate change. And I think that's really, really important. Make sure to catch up with our interviews with Caroline Kenyon and Sally Horscroft and be sure to tune in to our general election coverage on the 12th. And now for your weather. Today has been a mostly clear but cold day with maximum temperatures reaching 8 degrees. As we move into the evening, expect things to become breezier as temperatures drop to a minimum of 2 degrees. And looking forward to tomorrow, there will be a bright start to the day and it will stay dry. We could possibly see temperatures reaching 10 degrees. Well, that's all for tonight. Remember, you can keep up to date with us on social media. You can follow us on Twitter at LSJ Tweets or find us on Instagram and Facebook at LSJ News TV. We hope you have a good evening. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.